dive into the DNA of discomfort. In this groundbreaking video, we explore the genetic blueprint behind knee pain, unlocking the mysteries that shape our susceptibility to discomfort. Get ready to uncover the fascinating science behind your knees and pave the way for personalized solutions that put genetic insights to work in your pursuit of pain-free living. So your parrot has had a knee replacement. Does that mean that you're destined to have a knee replacement as well? Perhaps a study has shown that the offspring of parents who had a knee replacement were 2.2 times more likely to develop knee pain in middle age. This does not necessarily mean that you're destined to have a knee replacement, but what it can show is that there might be a genetic predisposition to osteoarthritis, specifically in this study about the knee. So some things you need to take into effect when you're looking at studies are, is it truly the cause and effect, or are there some other variables that are playing here? And when you break down the different study groups, you see that in general, that there were some characteristics of people who had had knee replacements and their offspring. So kind of that nurture aspect of things, not just the nature. So nurture is lifestyle, nature is the genetics or the DNA. So in this study, the people who had had a knee replacement and their children were more likely to be overweight or obese. They also had a higher predisposition for smoking or they were smokers. So you know that there's some lifestyle things that can be done here with regard to not smoking. There are also things that can be done with regard to what you're eating. So an anti-inflammatory diet, things such as processed foods, high sugar foods, high alcohol, high red meat, they're known to be pro-inflammation. We know that arthritis in the joints is an inflammatory process where we're basically eating away at the cartilage and a pro-inflammatory state where the blood is inflamed and the joints are inflamed is more likely to lead to a degeneration of the cartilage and acceleration of osteoarthritis. So knowing that ahead of time, saying, I know that my parent or parents have had knee replacements. Start earlier by exercising, start earlier by eating healthfully, start earlier by making sure that the muscles around your knee are stable, that they're well balanced, and that you've got that support will maybe decrease the risk and play more of a nature role where the genetics are playing are less likely to be as effective, right? So it's more of a nurture. You've got more control. You are the one in the driver's seat with regard to reducing your risk of having knee pain that then progresses rapidly to osteoarthritis. Another study in twins talks about the risk of ACL rupture. Remember, ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament. In the knee model, I'll peel away the patella. The anterior cruciate ligament is the crossing ligament that goes from the front to the back and it attaches the upper bone femur to the lower bone tibia. The ACL is injured in athletes, particularly those who do a high impact jumping and landing, somebody who's doing a lot of twisting and pivoting. So common sports for this would include basketball, volleyball, somebody who's jumping and landing and pivoting to do their sport. In the most popular sport right now, pickleball, there's a lot of pivoting, not so much jumping unless you're doing some smash shots, but pivoting. So the ACL ruptures. If you have an ACL rupture, you've got a 10X risk of developing osteoarthritis. So if you know that you can reduce your risk of an ACL rupture, you'd wanna know about that. Well, this study showed that twins are very likely to have an ACL rupture if their twin did to the fact of almost 70%. There's a correlation there. So that's a high genetic predisposition. Right now, we don't know exactly which gene, if it's the VEGF, if it's another pro-inflammatory gene, but we know that there is a genetic predisposition. What that can tell you is we need to then say in our histories, if we're viewing athletes, we're talking with people who have, say, a sports physical, 
or they come in with a knee injury, we say, do you have a parent? Do you have a sibling? Do you have somebody in your family who's had an ACL injury? If you're a younger athlete, we can pass this down to the trainers, to the coaches, to the parents, and look at what we can do potentially to prevent that ACL rupture in this athlete because we know that there's a family predisposition to ACL injuries. And that can be a lot of preemptive stuff, a lot of personalized preventive medicine that can reduce your risk of being a ACL injury and therefore reduce your risk of having that accelerated osteoarthritis. Things you can look about here, again, are stability around the knee. So getting good physio, good physical therapy, specifically making sure that there's good balance in that, potentially bracing at the time of the big twisting. So wearing some form of a compression sleeve during your performance. We can talk about on the orthobiologic side of doing things like platelet-rich plasma more in a preemptive or earlier on in a grade zero to grade one osteoarthritis or into a low grade ACL tear if we're talking about arthritis or ACL in combination of this whole video and using your body's own cells of anti-inflammatory factors, growth factors, and anti-inflammatory cytokines to repair the area and keep it shored up. All of this is going towards our future of personalized preventive medicine because there does seem to be some correlation between our genes and our risk of developing osteoarthritis in the knee as well as an ACL injury. There are other studies out there, but I thought that these were the most interesting because I see tons of osteoarthritis and we see a lot of ACL injuries. If you'd like to learn more, please like, please subscribe, comment below, and your question may be the topic of a future video. We also have so much more information on knees at kneeboostnow.com. Thank you. If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.